Welcome back guys, I'm here for another video. Today we are working on a truck. Um, I don't know if you've seen the last stay at home video, but I mentioned that we got a Tacoma, so today we're actually gonna throw on the suspension of it. So what I got for you guys are, we got the Fox 2.0s, your coilovers. Um, the other coilovers in this price range normally have these C-clips instead of traditional coilover adjustments. I really didn't like that because you gotta take apart the whole suspension in order to adjust the ride height and I wasn't down to do that so we went with the threaded shock body so that way we can adjust the height with the coilovers on the car if I have to. Um, so yeah, 2.0s, no reservoir. I don't plan to do a ton of off-roading so I really don't need you know the extra the, the beefier shocks or you know the more fluid to keep them cool. This should do for just uh, what I would need just for leveling. You know, I didn't want to run spacers, so here I am with coilovers. Now for the rears, um, we have the matching 2.0s for the rears. Um, not adding a leaf or blocks in the rear, we're just gonna really replace the shocks. Um, from what I hear though, by adding these boys, they, it stops the bed bounce. So like when the bed's empty on the highway, you can kind of feel like the rear end kind of like hopping around and that should eliminate it with these, so. I'm stoked to throw these on, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So, to get the fronts out, what we're gonna do is, uh, we have the sway bar we gotta get uh, removed first, then we can kinda start undoing the actual coilover part. To get the coilover out though, underneath the knuckle, there's two bolts that hold the control arm to the knuckle, and once you remove those, then we'll be able to swing the control out, or control arm down and then pull the coil over out. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started on all of this and it shouldn't take too long. So we got the passenger strut out, and if you take a look, here's the comparison. Uh, we kind of line them up side by side. You can see that the Fox ones does give a little bit of lift. Um, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure the springs themselves are also stiffer, and there's also less coils, so maybe it won't droop as much once you put the suspension on, but this is supposed to yield two inches of lift on a stock Tacoma, but because I have a four x four, it only gives me an inch, so that's how it goes. And we're gonna go ahead and throw it back in. Oh, uh, did they give new nuts? No, oh, but they're not cool flange. Hmm. Why do they go in so easily? <laughs> I, I was like, maybe it's not too soon. Don't guide me up. Line them up and I'll hold it. Hey! All right, so Huey's finishing up this passenger side. Uh, let's take a look. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, actually, it's almost easier than most cars. Most cars. Um, so I think just gonna tighten some stuff up. Uh, finish this side up. I'm gonna keep going on the other side, and then we're done to front, and then we'll get to the rear.
Alright guys, well, finished the Tacoma. Um, Friends went on a piece of cake. The rears kind of sucked, as in the eyelet that holds the the lower part of the shock was kind of it's kind of narrow, and the box ones are a little bit wider with rubber bushing, so we kind of had a finagle it in, but it all went in. I drove around the block, it looks pretty level now. I mean, even though my driveway kind of slopes, it's pretty level, so I'm happy with it. I'm happy that I didn't have to adjust the um, the coilovers. They kind of came preset, and that works. So, yeah. There it is, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video.